and uh, I've got um, Pro running. Actually, I got Premium uh, configuration running, so I got all my three, four, and five access tool paths. Um, as I mentioned before, this is a uh, automotive bezel trim core uh, mold, and um, this uh, it will be nearly impossible to program using standard uh, configuration. There's just not enough tools and not enough control uh, over the tool uh, to machine this mold uh, core the way it should be machined. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, let's go ahead and do a, uh, we've got our stock, uh, I know I was mentioning before it was a stock from selection. So I'm gonna select my box stock. And I'm going to go stock from selection. And then I'm going to hide the stock. Okay. So we got the stock here defined. So uh, we don't need to use the align because we, we did stock from selection. So that stock box was already aligned the way we wanted it. Uh, we're going to skip the material for now. And we will go ahead and do a work zero. We'll set it to the stock box. And we will do uh, highest Z in this corner over here, and we'll generate that. Okay, so let's go ahead, and I wanna move this up to my setup three axis. Uh, I have some other operations down here that take a long time to program, so I'm gonna show you what they are when I get to them. Okay, so let's go ahead and do uh, three axis horizontal roughing. And in horizontal roughing, you don't have to select anything. It'll automatically calculate the stock to remove based on the stock model uh, and the part model. So we'll leave it at that. And we're gonna use our large three quarter inch uh, end mill. Uh, feeds and speeds, we won't mess with these. And clearance plane is set to automatic. And for the cup parameters, uh, for roughing, we're just gonna use the default parameters uh, uh, 10 thousandths tolerance stocks, 25 thousandths. Uh, we'll accept all of these default parameters. They all look good uh, for roughing. Uh, for the levels, we'll go ahead and use the default parameters of 50%. Now, obviously, when I go through this, I'm using parameters that won't tax the system uh, so that we can get through the webinar. When you actually get this file and ask us, and we'll give you the file, when you get it and run it, uh, use your own uh, uh, parameters as if you would cut it yourself. So we're gonna accept that. Uh, we'll, we'll accept everything else. Change that to O2, let's generate that. <clears throat> Again, Joe, if there's any questions in the background, feel free to stop me. Will do. Okay. So it looks like we got a horizontal roughing uh, operation completed. Let's go ahead and simulate that. Turn tool path off so you can see that. So we roughed it out. Now what we're gonna do is a, uh, a professional, uh, in the professional configuration, you have a re-roughing uh, operation. In uh, re-wrapping, you do have to simulate the previous operations first. All of the previous operations you have to simulate before you can use the re-wrapping because that's based on the in-process stock model. So we're gonna go to three axis. We're gonna go to re-wrapping and we will select nothing. Let it calculate all the material that it can remove. And for tool, we'll go ahead and use our one half inch uh, end mill, everything else will be pretty much the same. All the parameters, cut levels, we'll leave that the same. Uh, engage, retract, advanced. I'll change that to O2. Okay. Yeah, one of the key uh, uh, points here about re-roughing is you really need to do the simulation for the previous operation. So what the re-roughing method does is it looks at the in-process or the current state of the stock model and then uses that as a starting point to create the cutter tool pads, so. I'm just changing the thickness, line thickness of the tool path. We can see it a little bit better. Okay, so there's our re -roughing. Let's go ahead and simulate that. Okay, so we got uh, re-roughing. Yeah, 
Yeah, as you can see, you can only cut the areas that the previous uh, operation left behind. So, mm -hmm. and you can very important. This, you can keep doing yeah, this uh, with successively smaller tools mm -hmm. if you wish. In other words, uh, you can uh, simulate the re-wrapping and then do another re-wrapping uh, with a smaller tool, and you can keep doing that, and, you know, to your liking, till you get it down uh, uh, to where you like it. But we're going to do some pre-finishing also, so that helps to get remove some material. Okay, so let's just take remove the toolpath and see what that looks like. So it got some more material off of there. We'll run with that. 